Hey guys, what's up? So today's I'm going to be doing this St. Patrick's Day glitter crying gold green makeup tutorial. I like to call it St. Patty's Day. I don't know why, but I'm going to be calling it that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So I am just going in with some green. <laughs> get it? Green. Because it's St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Uh, green color corrector. Uh, for redness on my face and then I'm going in orange under my eyes uh, to cancel out my blue circles because blue circles no dark circles what am I saying uh, dark circles and then I'm going in with a lighter peachy color to kind of do they affect more if that makes sense so yeah you can just see me and I'm just kind of blending it in but I'm very I'm very lightly patting it you don't want to blend this stuff in okay just pat very lightly see it's still there color's still there I'm just making it not tacky anymore if that makes sense okay and then I'm just going to be taking the tiniest bit of powder and putting it over it just to set it but not enough where you can't put liquid makeup over it still just so it doesn't move around if that makes sense um, but yeah now I'm going with my favorite foundation this is the Marc Jacobs foundation. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff, and I even put too much on uh, during this video. It's extremely pigmented. You need the littlest amount. You can see how much just a few drops are going. And Okay, at first, it looks really weird on my skin. Bear with me. Like, I know. I would be thinking the exact same thing. I'd be like, that color is so pale for you. Just bear with me. The longer it stays on my face, the more it kind of sets in and it looks better. But once I'm done with the powder and the contouring, all the other stuff, it looks perfectly fine. Just bear with me. Trust me. Like, I know. I can easily see that it looks really light for my skin tone. But just wait. It'll be fine. Um, anyways, I'm going in with my uh, Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. And I'm just concealing other stuff. And oh my gosh, I know I look pale. I know. But just wait. Just wait. Okay. So I'm just blending that away, as you can see. And I'm going in with the, uh, oh, I forgot what this one's called. It's also by Maybelline. It's the, Ad oh, Adri One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Adri One Concealer. This is just to help brighten up. And I'm a concealer whore. Uh, I love my concealer. It's kind of my thing. Um, I can see the comments like, you're wearing so much face makeup. Well, is it your face? I didn't think so. Did Picasso use too much makeup? No, wait, what? No, that's not the joke. Did Picasso use too much paint on his canvas? Um, I don't think he did. I don't think you'd ever say that, so, you know, back up. Um, anyways, I am baking my face, and I'm using the the really cheap one, like the $8 one, instead of, like, the Laura Mercier one. forgot what it's called. I think it's, uh, uh I don't know. Um, oh, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I'm just baking my face, setting my face with the powder with my beauty blender, and I just got a brand new beauty blender. I'm so stoked about it. Um, but yeah, so now I'm brushing out my brows into the shape I want, and I'm filling them in with my dip brow in the shade Dark Brown, um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and you could probably be like, well, your hair is not dark brown, why are you using dark brown eye, or eyebrow makeup? Well, I am a big fan of the look of dark brows. I know it's either you hate them or you love them. I'm a lover, um, but then I also feel like, you know, do whatever the heck you want. I just think... For bold makeup, you need bold brows. Is that just me? Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, if you don't like it, you don't need to yell at me in the comments. It's literally my face. It's my artwork. Let me do what I want to do. All right. Um, hopefully that didn't come out mean. Come with that. I don't know English. What? Um, hopefully that didn't come out mean. But kind of okay if it did for all those makeup haters out there that the brows intimidate you. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just working on the sparse, which is always the hardest part for me. Um, and trying to make them look my way that I want. <laughs> that was really slow. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I took a long time to fill in my brows because I want them to be perfect to me. May not look perfect to you. May look completely disgusting to you. That's cool. I get it. Like, I get it. we all got opinions and stuff. But, like, it's my face. How I want my eyebrows to look is how they're going to look. So, just chill off chill off i've never said that before but yeah chill off i like that uh chill off this is uh my face my makeup i can do what i want and it comes off at the end of the day so little rant there for you guys but um i'm just concealing the brows because uh it's a game changer it really is i mean brows are everything but then when you conceal them it just it just changes everything okay it's like eyelashes like a makeup look is not complete without eyelashes anyways going into contouring 
and I'm just contouring the cheekbones and I'm going for a real dramatic look here so that's why it might uh, blah, 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 mm, don't know anything uh, that might be why it looks heavy like really deep contour but anyways I'm baking under it to get that really nice sharp contour line that I love so much um, I think it's air spun is that what it's called the powder I don't really know uh, um, but yeah so as you can see my face looks way not pale anymore <laughs> it looks a lot it blends way better into my, you know, neck and everything. It doesn't look weird anymore. I told you. Just bear with me. Look at that glow. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm using the Jeffree Star Eyes Cold. That glow is blinding me. Okay? Just, just look at the transformation. Oh. Um, but yeah, this glow is incredible. If you do not have a Jeffree Star highlighter, what are you doing with your life? If you are a makeup girl and you don't own a Jeffree Star highlighter, please, I recommend it. I recommend it so much. Oh my god, the glow. But then I'm going into the Anastasia Moonchild palette and I'm taking the color Lucky Clover. Doesn't it go so well with this look? I know. I'm so clever. I know, I know, I know. You don't need to tell me. I already know. Um, but yeah, so this is like a green hued highlighter and it's gorgeous and it works perfectly with this look. Then I'm taking my um, NARS Orgasm Blush, slightly going over the highlight and contour just to kind of melt them all together. And then I'm going in with a transition eyeshadow color from a Morphe 35B palette. It's a very, very light nude color. Um, and now I'm going in with one of the green shades from the, whatchamacallit, 35B palette. I think it's like one of the lighter green shades. You can literally take any green shade you want from that palette. That's why I'm not really showing you which ones I'm using exactly. Because literally just take any green color you have. That's all. It doesn't matter what palette you got. doesn't matter how expensive the palette was. Just take any green shadow you got okay and i'm going in with that new color again kind of blending out the crease so it just blends real nice um and now i'm taking a darker green uh shadow i'm doing kind of a halo effect where you you know uh you leave the lid blank but you do the inner corner and outer corner and you slightly blend them together in the middle crease if that makes sense more uh if you just look at what i'm doing you'll be able to see what i'm doing but you don't need to fill the lid with anything just yet so that's all i'm doing and i'm kind of like flicking it out like it kind of gets like a cat eye v effect and then i'm going in my lower lash line with a little tiny detailer brush and i'm taking that green and i'm doing the same thing on the outer and inner corner leaving the middle blank as you can see what i'm doing right there so that's that for the green eyeshadow and now i'm going to be going in with some glitter glue i'm using the nyx glitter glue it's amazing it's six bucks i highly recommend it and i'm going in with some gold glitter this is also by nyx they also have glitters and it's so amazing their glitters are incredible this is just the gold one and um highly recommend it their glitters are six dollars too and you need the tiniest amount it's so ridiculous and i, I love these glitters so much i bought like a hundred dollars with the glitter and it's funny i'm not joking i'm not ask my friends um but yeah so and then i'm drawing kind of like a v like lightning bolt almost tear running down the face kind of shape because we're going to be crying glitter um and i just kind of put the glitter glue on and now i'm packing the glitter on top of it and this is the first time i've ever done like a crying glitter look and let me tell you i am obsessed with it okay i'm going to be wearing this look to school um, but yeah, so my camera cut off, and so I did mascara, a winged eyeliner, and I put on some Scarlet Lashes by Huda Beauty, and it, they're so pretty. But now I'm going with Jeffree Star's uh, Christmas collection, one of his lipsticks called Crocodile Tears. Went perfectly with this look, and uh, yeah, so that's the lipstick that is going on my face. You can see it's very dark green, but it works. It works really well with this look, I feel like. And yeah, so that's the entire St. Petty's Day makeup tutorial look that I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you uh, like the video and subscribe and leave it, leave comments in the, in the comment section for videos you want to see. So thank you guys. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.